alcoholing basics trying to finish up your painting by adding some lines with markers Howdy, howdy, this is Claire Lawrence. So I have a basic, just blended alcohol ink right now going on. I'm gonna add a little bit more alcohol to it, get a little bit more interest. And then we're gonna do some finishing touches with some markers. So I need to have something to work with for now. You know what? This actually might do fine. Maybe we'll just work with this right now. Okay. So what I have, I've got two different kinds of markers. I've got an acrylic paint marker, Posca pens, and I've also got this really cool marker. It's called Liquid Chrome by Molotov, and it literally, it's like drawing with a mirror. It's really wild. So both of these kind of markers have a marble or a, um, a little steel ball inside. Shake them up really, really well before you start. And I always test them out to make sure they're working just before. And have a piece of cardboard or like the back of a pad handy when you're working with these kind of markers just to make sure you get it starting to flow right. Or if you need to get the, the marker started back up again, get more um, paint back in the tip, you can push down on the pad and get it going again. So definitely a big pointer there. All right, let me get this camera set up. So, uh... Yeah, that's what happens when you don't wear gloves. Oops. <laughs> don't my hands look pretty now? Anyway, we'll get those cleaned up in a in a bit. All right, now the Posca pins come in several different points. Uh, this happens to be one of the bullet points. It's a pretty wide marker. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna keep my thumb here just so that you can see the thickness of it. So pretty thick there. And literally, if you want to enhance your uh, paintings, either it's a working around a shape, creating some background shapes, like if I created some shapes to get it started, you can do that with your thick lines. Keep in mind if you hit any bumps or any hard, uh, not bumps, I should say, uh, areas where the ink has really dried in a ridge, you're gonna have that like a little speed bump. So expect that when you go over it, so that way you can steady your hand. Okay, so I'm just drawing some doodle lines in there. And then I've got a smaller pasta pen. And, and it'll do some skinnier lines here. So you can see they're much smaller. And so these guys, I can either play off the shape I've got going on, create some echoes, or shapes within the shape, I should say. Um, Try to keep some, have some kind of dimension to it, make, make it actually look like a leaf. So there's a lot of things you can do with these things. Draw little circles. You can even play with uh, some dimensions in between the shapes. Imagination is yours. But these draw really, really well. See, not pretty clean lines. All right, now y'all ready for some, some fun stuff? These, these chrome markers just really, I don't know. They, <laughs> they're just cool. Okay. So again, this one comes in a bullet shape. I've also got a fine shape. 
And let's see. I'm gonna do some circles so that way you can see the reflective nature of these things. See again right there, uh, it caught on the, the texture line and I just kept pushing, slowed down my stroke and then just pushed it through very carefully. And that will get me to where I'm going without having that big old yink, card Because you don't want that little speed bump looking thing. Let's see. So a lot of cool texture. You can see how shiny it is. It reflects. You see in the circles in that crazy? Well, what's really neat is that you can create, let's see. Just do your basic box here. Jink. Fine art. Ha <laughs> ha. You can start messing around. I need my pad, get my marker going again. A lot of times I will use um, the markers, let's see, I'll draw, I'm gonna draw with a smaller one. I might draw a shape. Y'all see me do um, horses and dragons on my trays. And then I'll go back through and with the black marker go right up underneath it. And it really makes the chrome ones pop out. Like such. So yeah, I have a lot of fun with it. I mean, it's just another medium that you can add to your alcohol inks. Whether you use them with just lines, dots, shapes. Swirly calligraphy. I can't draw the lettering. I'm not competing with Jeff there. <laughs> I can do the swirls, I can do the lines and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, you can have a lot of fun to really bring out your alcohol inks. So have fun with that. But let me show you something where I did. Whoa, sorry I bumped the camera there. So this is a piece. I did recently where it's just a simple little peacock but went in with some lines afterwards and added some accents to it and since it was already a very loose kind of painting I just did the lines kind of loose here too but even around just the eye it was just enough that it, it brought a little bit of drama to the lines and such so real happy with how that turned out. So play with your lines. It can really bump up your piece. Like button, hit the subscribe button.
but definitely hit the bell to get notified next time I put a video up. Later, y'all.